This is SAT test 2, non-calculator question 11. College Board is asking you to divide two complex numbers. They often ask you to add, subtract, multiply, or divide complex numbers, so it's worth reviewing this skill before the SAT. In this case, we're dividing, and to divide, we take our complex number and multiply by the conjugate of the denominator over itself. To take the complex conjugate, you keep the real part, flip the sign on the imaginary part, and multiply the numerator and denominator by that same expression, the complex conjugate of the denominator. To multiply fractions, you are going to use FOIL to multiply the numerators and then use FOIL to multiply the denominators. So that gives you 3 times 8 is 24 in the numerator, 3 times negative 2i is negative 6i. Negative 5i times 8 is negative 40i. And negative 5i times negative 2i is positive 10i. I'm sorry, positive 10i squared. We'll come back to that i squared in a moment. Multiplying denominators, 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times negative 2i is negative 16i. 2i times 8 is positive 16i. And the last step of FOIL, 2i times negative 2i is negative 4i squared. Another i squared term, we'll come back to that. But first, the ne negative 16i plus 16i in the denominator, that's zero. And that's why we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. When you multiply two complex conjugate numbers, you end up with a pure real number once we simplify that i squared. So our numerator, 24 minus 46i, And then the i squared is negative 1, so 10 i squared is 10 times negative 1 is negative 10. And the denominator is 64 minus 4 i squared. Negative 4 times i squared, which is negative 1, is positive 4. 64 plus 4 is 68. So that simplifies to 24 minus 10 is 14 over 68. And then minus 46 over 68 times i. 14 and 68 are both even, so that is 7 over 34. 46 and 68 are both even, so that's 23 over 34 times i. And that matches choice C. Again, frequently tested on the SAT, it's well re worth reviewing your complex number skills. Come back soon for my next SAT math video.